Hey y'all, welcome to Kamira's Kitchen. Today I am going to be trying out the most expensive salmon in the world, honey, and that is the King Salmon. Now I bought this one from Costco for $20 a pound, which means I spent $71.56 for just 3.58 pounds of salmon. However, this is actually a deal because online I have seen King Salmon go from either 30 to 40 up to even $50 per pound. So at $20 a pound, this is apparently a good grab. Now I have never tried King Salmon before, but I have heard about it. I've heard that it's really delicious. And today I'm gonna find out if it is worth the hype, if it is worth the money, you know, did your girl just waste it? Because I'm telling you right now, if it's not good, I am taking this back to Costco. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting my money back, okay. So this is my salmon. It is nice and beautiful. And I am gonna start off by cutting it into some fillets. I really like that this salmon is really nice and thick. That way you know that when you bake this or if you pan fry it, it's gonna stay nice and juicy. I find that the tail of the salmon gets to be a little bit drier, so that's a plus for this salmon. Now, let me know in the comments if you have ever tried king salmon before or if you would ever try king salmon before. Like, do you think this is worth the money? Do you think it matters? I mean, it is wild caught. Apparently, has the highest amount of omega-3, so y'all let me know what you think. Now, upon cutting this, I realized that some of the scales were still on. And I'm like, y'all, for a salmon to cost this much, I don't know why y'all left the scales on. You know, that, that, that adds some weight to it. You know, that's probably about $5 worth of scales that I got to take off. To remove the scales, I just took a sharp knife and I took the edge of the blade against the grain of the scales and you will see them pretty much pop off. I've also seen people remove them with like a kitchen brush and they will also pop off that way. And then I just took my salmon, I rinsed it off and I patted them dry so I got rid of all, you know, the residual scales and stuff. And I went to start to prepare my favorite marinade. Now, if you've been enjoying this recipe so far, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly recipe inspiration. Now, one of the, my favorite ways to prepare salmon is a Dijon mustard herb coating. Oh my goodness, it's just so good. Now, I've chopped up about a tablespoon of parsley. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of avocado oil mayonnaise and about two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Look, if you're not a mayonnaise lover, don't knock it till you try it, okay? Because in this recipe, it's just gonna keep the salmon nice and juicy, but it's not gonna taste like mayonnaise. I promise you it's not gonna taste like mayonnaise. Now, I'm then gonna squeeze in about a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, and then I'll add in about three three cloves of fresh minced garlic and I'm going to mix this up very well. I also put in just about a pinch of dried thyme and to add a little bit of sweetness. Now you don't want this to get very sweet but just to balance the flavor out, I like to put in about half of a teaspoon of honey. That's going to actually help the marinate sort of caramelize on the salmon and it'll just give it a great taste. Now I'm gonna put, dry, add some dry spices to my salmon fillets. Y'all know Old Bay, okay, that's like good, faithful, you know, old reliable when it comes to fish. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on, as well as some roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Now make sure you put this on the sides, on the top, all over the place. I really don't measure these. I just do these to taste, okay? So don't come to me saying how much you put, honey. I don't know, okay? This is Southern cooking. We don't be knowing that type of stuff, all right? I'm also going in with this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. Now, I know it says steakhouse, but I don't just put this on beef. I love this on vegetables, on fish, on chicken, all types of stuff. And y'all know I don't be letting these spice labels tell me what to do, okay? I just do what I want to do up in my kitchen, okay? Then I'm gonna add a little bit of Cezanne Tropical. You don't wanna go too heavy-handed with any of these seasonings because they all have a little bit of salt and I'm just doing this, you know, to my own taste. Now, can y'all believe that when I told my family I was making this expensive salmon, all of them talking about they want to come through, okay? I said, hold up, $20 a pound, I don't know about that, okay? Maybe my mama, because she gave birth to me, you know what I'm saying? she can have whatever she want but the rest of them the, the siblings oh no mm -mm, y'all can't get none of this okay um now i went in with my marinade and i just poured that all over the top between the three fishes and i just spread it out pretty evenly i didn't put any on the side but it's going to naturally just kind of drip down 
I'm telling y'all, this is going to be the most moist salmon you have ever had. And even if you don't get king salmon, just put it on any salmon you got, okay? I put a little paprika on it for color and I baked this at 350 degrees for 15 minutes exactly. Now, after 15 minutes, this is how my salmon is looking. Now, I know all y'all want to know, okay, how does it taste? Was it worth it? Can you tell the difference? So after I let it sit for about one minute, I did give it a taste, okay? Now, first of all, let me say, this is a very flaky, very moist, very buttery salmon. And upon tasting it, I will have to say, I can tell the difference. I've eaten a lot of salmon in my day, and truly, this was the most moist, rich, and buttery tasting salmon I've ever had. Personally, I do think it's worth it if you can, you know, it's like a nice affordable luxury, but y'all let me know what you think. Would you buy this? Would you try this? I love this recipe and I know that you guys are going to love it with whatever cut of salmon you use. I hope you know that I love you and Jesus loves you and God bless you guys. I know I'm gonna see you next time on Kamira's Kitchen. Goodbye and God bless.